I wanted to get your, your, your comments and, and thoughts on this combo because you recently put out a, a list of your top yeah. five players currently in the bubble. And uh, what, what do you I think mean, about it, Eric? What do you think? I, yeah, well, what do you think I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you because I'm a man of my word. And I got to humble myself because, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was feeling real arrogant when I when I commented on it. And I said, ah, <laughs> oh, you should take Joker out of there and put Tatum in because Joker's about to go home today. And then the moment I said that, you know, I put my foot in my mouth because Joker, Joker came out real big today. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let, let's move past that, man. All right, you know, listen. But, you got I, but honestly, first. <laughs> honestly, honestly, but no, no, which, yeah, no, it did make my list look even better. <laughs> but, you did. But that, I, it did, it did, like, it did. Even, even without that game, though, I just think Joker, she's clearly a better basketball player than Tatum. Yeah. Me personally. So, but um, so the so reason I said, all right, so the reason I said that was we were talking purely in the bubble. And I feel that Joker has been a little up and down at times. The Denver team as a whole, that's kind of their, their, their thing because Jamal Murray is very hot and cold as well. I yeah. think Tatum, aside from the first game in the bubble when he struggled and then he cut his hair, Tatum has been phenomenal the rest of the bubble. And phenomenal, that, that to me, phenomenal. Phenomenal does not mean you're better than any of those five players on the list. Well, I, I didn't say you. I didn't say better. Remember, all right, so so the people get some. Hold on, hold on, hold on, trip. Hold on, hold on, trip. So the people get a little. No, it's it's no it is my list saying who are the top five players left. Right in, in the, the bubble. bubble, in the bubble. No, just the, no, just the top five in general players in, in the general. Bubble. All right, yeah. so you got. You got Braun number one, you got AD number two, you got Kawhi number three, you got Jokic number four, and you got PG, who some people call playoff P, number five. And some people call him pandemic P, but I still got him top five, you know? <laughs> you got him top five. I'm surprised you don't so, got anybody in the Eastern Conference on your five. So who? that's Yeah, that's crazy, right? That no, was the first right. thing I was going that was the first thing I was gonna say, Trip. I appreciate you bring it up because I was gonna say that. But the second thing, give the people a little bit of perspective why you picked these five guys. Well, LeBron's the best player in the world, and I think he's proving that. You got AD that. is. A, yeah. Are you with me? You're with me on that one. Yeah, you got. You definitely got that one right. <laughs> okay. AD is the second best player, and he's a ridiculous mismatch for everyone. And sometimes he doesn't get as much credit as he should because he makes things look so easy. Um. And I think you know him and Kawhi are very close. I'm not mad at anybody saying that they would have Kawhi over him. I would just take AD over him because of his rim protection, his versatility on defense. He's obviously not the ISO scorer Kawhi is, but he's pretty good at that as well. Mm -hmm. um, I just think he's an all-around better player than Kawhi, but I'm not mad at anybody having Kawhi over him. And Kawhi is three. I don't think you could put Kawhi any lower than three. I don't think anybody would argue with that. No. Um, Jokic is just, man, that guy is crazy IQ. Probably the best passing big man I've ever seen. He's like Sabonis 2.0, could score on three levels, showing the three-point shot lately. And uh, PG-13, a super efficient scorer on all three levels, great defender, um, makes it look easy. And I think that's the AD thing all over again, that sometimes he makes it look so easy, people don't give him his credit. And also, I know that some people might think that Jason Tatum, you might play some higher, but PG's bar is set so much higher than Jason Tatum's because Jason Tatum is – and I'm just trying to go with what I think the arguments would be. You know, like I think I could see somebody saying Jason Tatum over PG, but that's just because PG's bar is set a lot higher because he's a veteran and, and Jason Tatum's on the come up. But I would not say in any, in any form that Jason Tatum is a better basketball player than PG-13, even though PG-13 has had his struggles lately. But he played really well today. That's fair enough. I want to ask you a question, though, because, again, okay. this is your top five players still in the bubble – but overall, you feel these are the best five players, no matter how they played so far in the last series. Would this list have been different a week and a half ago after the end of the first round? With PG, what, well, like right after PG didn't play well? No, no, I'm just you? saying, I, I, I want, we're just going to use the parameters that it's the end of the first round. We're getting set for the second round, which the top five players have been different. And I'm, I'm saying this specifically because Giannis just left the bubble a couple of days ago. Would this list have been different at the end of the first round? You know, I'm not as high on Giannis as everybody else, but I would have him above PG-13 as the top five player. I would. I would. I'm not, so you, I mean. You would have had him number five on the list. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, yeah. 
I'll get you honest that, even though I was never as high on him. When people were trying to say that he was the best player in the league, I never thought that was the case. But, yeah, yeah I would have him higher than PG-13. Yeah. I agree with everybody that you got on your list in that order, with the exception of Paul George. Uh, okay. Because he's had too many bad games this uh, during the, the playoffs. I would have put Jimmy Butler in at number five. Um, obviously, I mean, he's the best player on, on Miami, but – he Jimmy Butler is the reason they dominated the Bucks the way they did. Um, now I know he he's not putting not putting up thirty five or thirty a night, but it's just everything that Jimmy Butler does as a whole. And he, on that team, he's he's a great leader. I'm not saying he's gonna be that yeah. for every team, but on that Miami Heat team, he's, he's been a great leader for them. And when he needs to score thirty points, he's putting up thirty points. When he needs to to lock down somebody on the defensive end, he's locking them locking them down. So I would have put Jimmy Butler five. I probably would have put Jason Tatum ahead of Paul George as well. Um, so do you think do you think Jason Tatum is a better basketball player than Paul George? Jason Tatum hasn't done it long enough for me to put him ahead of Paul George right now, but. I think he, he'll, he'll get there. No, I'll say, okay, so if you had to take one right now for the rest of the bubble, he's on your – you're the coach. He's I'm on your team. I'm taking Jason Okay. Hands down. Okay. He's, he's just yeah, been more consistent. I agree. I think, I think uh, as, as Tripp mentioned, I think too many times we see Paul George shy away from the moment, whereas Tatum embraces it. And, okay. it, it, and sometimes even to a fault because the other night in game seven, uh, they go up 88-80, and I was going to put a post if they would have lost it. And then he had like three straight bad possessions, but it wasn't for lack of trying. It was for lack of like trying to prove that I'm the guy. He had one where he dribbles off his foot. He has another one where, where Jalen Brown has to take a bad three point shot at the end of the shot clock because he held the ball too long. So he's, he's trying to will his team there. Whereas too many times Paul George to me comes across a guy like, Hey, you do it. I, I got you this. I got you this far, but you, you take over now. I don't, I don't really want to be a part of this moment right now. So, but I have, again, other than that, I have no problem with the list. I thought a lot of people would have issue with AD over Kawhi, and they didn't. Like, I thought that was going to be the thing that, yeah, like, that's what I thought. I thought people would be like, yeah, Kawhi over AD, but it has, I haven't heard any of that. I've been on record as saying, before the playoffs started, these playoffs runs were bigger for AD's reputation than LeBron's. LeBron has nothing else to prove to us. We know where LeBron stands. AD has well, some people don't. Some people don't. Maybe you Listen, know. But we know who those people but those are. Those are the haters, though, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Combo, combo. Yeah. Those are the people that said Portland would beat the Lakers. Yeah. We know who those people are, combo. Exactly. <laughs> we talked. We, got we, we, we talked about that already. Right. He, he has nothing to prove. We know that he has nothing left to prove to anybody else. But to me, AD had to prove it because prior to the season, AD has yet to have his playoff moment. This was his opportunity to show everybody, hey, look, this is why I'm considered one of the top five guys. This is why you would want to start your franchise with me. And I think AD has shown that. It's so easy for him. People don't realize what he's doing right now. Yeah. Like, people still think – people still think AD's oh, he's playing all right. Like, that's really people's mentality. Nah, Many people are like, you know. 25 and 10 every – I think he's averaging – isn't he averaging like 30? Okay. He's, he's on the cusp of 30 and 10 a night. He's right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just he's, he's, he's just phenomenal. he's just a lot better than most of the people on the court, and he makes it look real easy. So you know, and and Kawhi has to like kind of, you know, he has to operate more to get his stuff off. Like Kawhi, like right. AD's more quick hitters and all that stuff. But yeah, and if you yeah, look so that's at my the five. and what they what they did in the first two rounds, you know, Dallas if if Porzingis doesn't get hurt, you know, what I'm oh, saying yeah. that series oh, yeah. looks looks a, a little bit different. And that wait. And even before he got hurt, that yeah. that's ejection. Yeah, and yeah, game one because I because I, I I think they win game one as well if if Porzingis doesn't get ejected in game one and they struggled dealing with with, with Luca and 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 the rest of the, the Mavs what they were doing. Then you go into this series right now. I I don't think it should have been seven games. They should have they should have been able to close this series out in five. And they've been blowing a lot of leads. And I don't care if you put up. 30 points, eight rebounds, and six assists. If your team loses, that don't mean nothing to me. So if you say yeah, yeah. Anthony Davis has played better and, and more consistently in the bubble right now, I'm not going to argue against you. I, I would actually go with that. 
Um, and same same thing with, with with Joker. He's been he's been phenomenal. And even like we talk about Jamal Murray, his his inconsistencies. Joker's been consistent throughout the playoffs all the way through. Jokic is their best player, and the thing with the yeah. Lakers is I think they are going to win it all, and it's going to be a great. Not saying, and this is nothing against it. Uh, anybody on the Lakers, but they don't have a championship roster, really. Like, they don't have a championship roster, but I think they'll still win a championship because of the greatness of AD and LeBron, and those guys will fit in where they have to. But if you really look at their roster, they don't even have anybody like a Gary Harris, like, right now. I mean, you know what I mean? They like, got playoff Rondo. Hold on, they got playoff Rondo. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a little bit of a reach, though, combo. Yeah, like, Rondo, you got, you, you've got proven veterans who have won a championship before. Rondo's won a championship. Gary Harris is in his prime, bro. Right. But, I all mean, right, but hold on, like, but hold on. But, you, but said, like, you said championship roster. Rondo's won a championship. Danny Green's won a championship. J.R. Smith's won a championship. No, no, no. I like J.R. Don't add him. He's not playing at all. Come on, don't do that. But you bring him on for these moments if you have to play him. Come on, stop. He's not even part of this right all now. Right. Like, combo, in terms of on the court. Who, who does want, Denver have who's, Who does JR, Denver have on their team? Look, man. Who does Denver look, have like, on their team? But, Combo, who does Denver have on a team that's even played in the finals? But these guys are, <laughs> these guys are higher level players than a lot of these guys right now. Paul Mill, look, Paul Millsap, Gary Harris, these guys are better players, better surrounding players than what AD and LeBron has right now. James Harden, look, so, James, James Harden and Russell have better surrounding players. Again, again, so when veteran teams load up for, the, for, their, for their run, right, and we saw this even when LeBron was in Cleveland, you bring on other vets who know what it takes to get through the playoff series. You don't just bring on guys who are like, oh, yeah, he's a good player. Because if that guy's never been there, it means nothing. In the bubble, I don't think all this means as much with no crowd there anyway. But we still got to take that into play, though. You, you have a guy who understands what it takes in the last three minutes of a game to get there. Eric, look at their roster, bro. If they win a championship this year, it is a crazy, ridiculous credit to LeBron and AD. Like, you know how all championships aren't created equal? Like this championship means a lot so, if they win it this so year. So would you rather? So if if you're if you're the Lakers, would you rather have Gary Trent or Rajon Rondo? Rajon Rondo, but that's the why. That, uh, why isn't yeah, Gary Trent the, a better player right now at this point in his career? Right now, at this point in his career, Gary Trent isn't a better player than Rondo. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I would say Gary no. Trent is better than Rondo right now. Really? Cause, no, cause, cause you, cause and also, a, and that's also, that's more IQ too. Which All is, right, so yeah, like, thank like you. Rondo, so that, that, that's Rondo, back to my point. No, no, Rondo. I mean, Gary Trent's a better shot maker, but he's not glue. He's not a glue guy like Rondo. Right. He's not an IQ guy like Rondo. So that's but, my point. You you but, surround. But you have your teams, two stars. But yo, but a lot of these teams have athletic three and D guys or really good players like like Russell and Harden have Eric Gordon, bro. Fuck it, Lakers have nobody like and, Eric Gordon. And Eric nobody. Gordon. And Eric Gordon, as a role player at his best, made it to an East uh, Western Conference Finals. He's so he's a lot better than a lot of the guys on the Lakers roster. All right, and he's a lot better than those guys too, because he was a part of that team that went 0 for 19 in Game Seven of a Western Conference Finals, right? <laughs> wait, what? He Come on, we're we doing this. Was, no, I'm just, he, I'm just saying. Wait, wait, I'm not knocking this, him. This I'm just how, saying. Wait, this is how we're condemning Eric Gordon. You're talking about one game from last year. No, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about a, in a moment where you needed him the most to step up because Chris Paul wasn't playing. He was he was their second best player, right? Was he not their second best player when Chris Paul got hurt? Paul got hurt, yeah. Right. Yo, so look, if you're my second best Eric, player, preseason, 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 they thought the Lakers are going to be like the sixth seed. Who did? A lot, not, not, not me and you, but many people. <laughs> said, not not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say who said and that? They, and they lost. And they lost Avery. I just don't want to hear anything about any when, – when AD and LeBron win the championship, I don't want to hear anything because that's a crazy credit to no. them. That's all I'm saying. I don't think they really have a championship-level team, They like they roster-wise. Are, they are exactly where I thought they would be, and I've said all along, my, my biggest issue with their team is that I don't feel they have a guard on their team that can create his own shot. And so they're right. so reliant on LeBron being able to, being able to facilitate right. the offense. So you're with right. me. No, no. But I'm not with you from the standpoint of all these teams have better pieces because I felt from all along, you've got two of the top four players in the league. You're expected to at least get here. Yo, Jalen Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum have, have Kemba. They have Kemba Walker as their third best player. Right, right. That, but that's like Jalen like Brown, that's but a, we're not that, putting – who puts Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum in the same conversation as LeBron and AD? No, that's that's my point. That's my only point. 
So they, they Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum need more help to get there because they're that, not the caliber of player. You were on the same page then. Right, you know right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. But anybody who, who, like I said, I don't agree with the logic of like all these other teams have so much more talent. It's not much more talent because the Lakers but have they, two of the if, – if, if, we're, if we're all in agreement, not only based off your list, but in, in general, before the season started, I think all three of us would have agreed that LeBron and AD are two of the top four players in the league, no matter how you rank them. Right, right, so right. Definitely. If you got that, your supporting cast doesn't need to be as strong as Boston. You don't need it to be no, that you, strong. And that's why I think they're going to win, but I still think it's an amazing credit to them when they win, nothing against anybody else on their roster. I just feel like a lot of these duos, like Kawhi and Paul George, have a lot more going with them they than do. AD and LeBron. They that's, do. That's, that's my only point. That's why my pick has been the Clippers, because they do have a better supporting cast. Which I agree with that. That's, and that's how much confidence I have in AD and LeBron. That's and that's all. fine. Well, what happens, yeah. though, with the Lakers – uh, the rest of the roster is there's a lot of inconsistencies, right? So, like I would I would take Kuzma as a role player over a lot of guys, but Kuzma is inconsistent. Same thing with with Caldwell Pope. You might get one good game and three bad games. Same thing with Danny Green. You might get one good game. And they three have games. they have they have a they have a 19 year old that is from the G League, which he's really talented. But that's yeah. who somebody they're giving minutes to on this team, and yeah, they're going to win it. And I think they're going to win a championship. With him playing, that's how good I think AD and LeBron are. And no offense to him, because he's playing, because he looks really comfortable when he gets in. I like LeBron him. Is, is an all time great. I mean, yeah, yeah. LeBron is arguably the second best player of all time. So you guys are saying I'm preaching to the, you guys are saying I'm preaching to the choir. That's what you guys are saying. Basically, bro, we agree with you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I, that's what I'm saying. But again. The people who I'm talking to the listeners, not you. I'm talking to the listeners. Right, right. No, but we got to We got to We got to remind the listeners. If you had the Blazers winning the first round, you need to watch more basketball. If you had Houston winning the yeah. second round, you need to watch more basketball. If yeah. you and had I like Lakers, Houston. I right. like micro ball. Not real Houston. I like the idea of micro ball. And I like the way James Harden was playing. But they just bumped into a better team. And that's that's just what it is. Like, the Lakers are just a better basketball team, you know? They right. had eight, you know? Yeah. And if you had the Lakers as a six seed to start the season – you should just quit your job, bro. Simple as that. Quit your job. But bro. did you hear that? You just put me on to that because I didn't. Uh, the lowest I heard. Oh, no, they were saying, they, look, they were saying, yo, they were saying, this is a crazy cast of characters. You got JaVel McGee and Dwight Howard. This is crazy. Like, they were saying all that stuff. LeBron's, yeah. LeBron's not the same player. We heard all of it. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, you can say that, but you're talking about they, the Lakers still have two top five players. Yeah, so yeah I'm with you. That they were going to finish sixth in the West when they were fourth in the West last year before LeBron got hurt. It's right. just crazy because now you're adding yeah. another top five player in Anthony Davis, so they're going to be worse when, when, yeah. when, when you're adding Anthony Davis? No, it doesn't matter who's around those two guys. Those two guys are enough to at least get you a top three seed in the West. Because LeBron James is the best player in basketball, because Anthony Davis is the top five player in basketball, and what he can do as a big man is unmatched. Top like, two player in the bubble. Yeah, like who, who can who can <laughs> stop – what team has, 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 has a guy that can stop Anthony Davis from doing what he wants to do? Nobody. You're right, nobody. That's nobody. So how could you even – in your mind, conceive the Lakers finishing six seed, barring any injury to LeBron or AD during right, the right, season. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm with well, you. Anna. Yeah. Smush Parker here, formerly up to Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned into Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you 